Halloween's around the corner and I needed to draw a rabbit for Halloween spooky time. Turn off phone. And I chose Vanny from FNAF. And let's get into the picture right now. So when figuring out her pose, I decided to go at first with the shush pose, her classic pose and all the promotional stuff. And as I was drawing it, I realized her hand should have a knife. And then when I drew the knife, it uh, looked like it was pointing. So I thought, wait, what if she finished carving something and she's kind of pointing towards a pumpkin? Perfect. And then when figuring out what would be on the pumpkin, I chose Freddy because Freddy loses his head. It, it just seemed appropriate. I wish I had made her clothes not as skin tight. They kind of make it look like she's skin tight with the outfit, but it shouldn't be. You get the impression she should be like wearing stuff under this outfit. It's very vague because they didn't put enough time into Vanny being in the plot and I hate it and I'm, I'm still bitter. The pumpkin, I eventually gave a bunch of extra stab wounds because homicidal bun bun, it made sense. I had to do it. I tried to look at multiple references because there's a lot of fan made FNAF content out there that gets mixed up with the official artwork because fans are really good at imitating FNAF style. I think it's a great compliment, but it's very difficult when you're trying to get references for a picture. The stitching, I ended up drawing little black lines for where the stitching is, then making a duplicate and making that duplicate be the color of the stitching, which is like a brown, and then resizing it to fit so that you have like behind it is the black layer and in front of it is the brown layer. So like, like my fingers are kind of overlapping. It's like that. Like you have a, another line behind it just kind of overlapping. And that's how I get the perfect outlines on the stitching. And then the lighting effect on the pumpkin was extremely fun to do. I I'm a sucker for lighting and I love those rays of light looking the way they do. They're like little beams, little, yeah, I just love that vibe. Lots of layers filtering on top of this picture. You'll notice the obvious static and the rays, the VHS kind of scan lines that happens whenever she's jump scaring you. <laughs> but I also am doing lots of like shadows, like a silhouette, a uh, vignette around the whole thing. And then also um, lots of like glow, add glow or color dodge to get certain lighting effects like on her eyes. I tend to be a fan of the red eyes that she has because her eyes are red. But my sister pointed out that technically her eyes usually have that like LED kind of yellow red look. And I admit that does also look pretty cool. So I, I compromise. There's, there's two different versions of the picture, but uh, this is the official one, I guess. There's multiple light sources. And honestly, with multiple light sources, as long as you keep that lighting consistent, then you could have as many light sources as you want. In my current setup right here, I've got that blue light, but I've also got an orange light. I, I try to make it interesting because I love that kind of rim lighting. It just, I, it's my favorite thing to illustrate on a picture. With this picture here, there's like three or four different lighting sources and uh, it's just fun that way. I will admit it is not 100% on model. It is not perfect to every detail. There's probably some details I messed up. The left hand should probably have more of that like plaid pattern. But honestly, I think fan art should also be a little transformative. You should put a little bit of you and your personality into the fan art you make, showing the original creator how you feel about it. And it's just more fun to express yourself, not just make a carbon copy and have fun with it. And there you have Vanny carving a pumpkin. Uh, if you ever have ideas for the type of rabbit you would want me to draw, whether it's uh, an actual rabbit in a scenario, or a character of some type that is rabbit related. I would love to hear it because I've got a list of like 80 something rabbits that I, I'm eventually going to draw. Other than that, I am starving and need to eat food. So thank you for watching. My name is Penmark and I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.